Well, this handsome guy is a late 50s Underwood leader, original color, a very pretty colonial blue actually is what it looks like. And this is the typing demo. Let's take a look at this typewriter and kind of take a little walk around it. So um, margins are in the back. Uh, the carriage release, instead of being behind the knobs, is right here on the top. It has a very strong bell feels really nice. Uh, to open up the top of the typewriter to see the ribbon, make sure you move the carriage all the way to the left and then open up the top. In here, you're gonna see uh, the ribbon and this is a black only ribbon. And um, it's on the original metal spool. So don't get rid of the spools. If you don't want the black spool, send them back to us. But if you order new ribbon, um, you can just put the ribbon, it takes a universal ribbon, but if you want it on the original spools, then um, just um, wind it on there. Or you can send me your spools and I'll wind the black ribbon on it for you. Okay, so let's give this guy a little typing demo. And, oh, here it is. The ribbon reversal so when the font when you're typing and the font gets faint that doesn't necessarily mean you need to change the ribbon it just means you need to change the direction and you do so with this lever right here just back and forth okay has a little bit bigger font than most typewriters. Very easy to type with. Some typewriters have, takes a little strength to press down on the keys and this is super, super easy. So easy that I feel like my fingers get a slip right off, but that's just because I'm used to um, typewriters that I have to have a little bit more grip. Okay, gosh, I really like this Underwood, um, but people who start with Underwoods usually stay with Underwoods. Anyway, you can view more images on our Etsy shop along with the details for this particular machine. The link is in the comments below. Thank you for watching.